I've been testing this AI tool for the past few weeks and honestly, it does 90% of your edit for you. Captions, b-rolls, music, all in the seconds. It's called Submagic and I will show you exactly how to use it. You can copy Iman Gaji or Raven Jato all day long, but if you're delivering way too slow, you're already falling behind. So in this video, I will show you how Submagic will save you hours and help you to deliver content faster. Let's get into this. Let me guys walk you through this platform Submagic and show you all the cool features they offer from generating captions, like I said, B-rolls, even getting this magic clip, which is actually a time saver. You can turn a long video or like podcast into many short form content pieces and it automatically select the best parts and generate the captions, which I think this is honestly a lifesaver. You can either upload the video by yourself. The max duration is 180 minutes of the video and maximum size is two gigabytes or you can just paste any youtube link and it automatically pick the best parts and gives you the short form content which this is absolutely time saver but right now let me actually show you these captions so all you just gotta do is to click on generate captions and now just upload your footage you can pick whichever language your video is and you can just select auto language but in my case i'm gonna be using english and right now we can use these cool two features which is multi-speaker theme this means if you have two speakers in the video, it's going to give a different color of caption to each person. This is actually a cool feature if you have two people speaking in a podcast and you want to highlight what the other person is talking about. Or another cool feature, you can translate your video and it's going to give you immediately captions in that language. So right now, all you just got to do is to create a generate captions. And right now you can see all these styles. You really want to go through all these and see which style you like the most. You can even customize these styles, add a font, change the font change the color everything is up to you i'm just going to show you guys a few styles here you got hormozy number three hormozy one hormozy two you got iman gaji which i like the most honestly because it's just professional and the way it generates these captions in just 15 seconds is amazing but of course there's going to be some mistakes but you really want to go through all these which is going to take about five minutes and adjust the captions by yourself but for now i'm just gonna walk you through all this so you can change the color you can add uh, emojis and everything so let me show you how this carlos captions style look yeah this is actually pretty clean you can be adding captions you can be adding emoji so for me let's pick this iman style so you can position this caption wherever you want uh, i like it a little bit under my chin somewhere down here so you just set your caption position and you can even change the font size i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and i'll just bring it up here you have all these viral styles here, even Ali Abdal, which this style would take you a little bit longer if you'd be doing all this manually. So if you want to go in this direction, this is a definitely way to go. But let me actually show you another cool feature this Submagic platform offers. You can add an audio. You really want to go through all these music. They always updating this music and keep adding the viral music. Everything what is right now trending on Instagram. You want to go through this and maybe click on the premium music and now it's going to show you all the premium music which is right now trending so let me select this music and just add it to our clip now you can play with the volume i had to put my headphones on because i wasn't able to hear it honestly and you can even adjust the start from that means you can pick the part you want to have this music to start and right now let me actually show you how to edit these captions in order to get the best results so like i said earlier you gotta go through all these and make sure the spelling is correctly so right now you can see assets but i'm seeing edit so just go through all these this is not gonna take you longer than five minutes and you're gonna have the results in just few minutes so right now let's say you want to split these words into separate layers so just click these word remember and hit split into new line and just like this you go through all these and make the captions the way you guys like maybe you like more text on one line so just click here to customize and now you can go through all these you can even upload your own font they already offer a few fonts on this website but just go through all these and pick whichever font you guys like or if you don't like any of these fonts you can always upload your own font by clicking here on the upload your own font and right now you can pick the font weight you can go from light to heavy in my case i'm going to be using that thin font which i like the most and you can even select here if you want to have it uppercase or lowercase and in my case i'm going to, i'm not going to be using the uppercase you can change the size of your captions you can change the color of your caption maybe you want to have this green or you want to have this purple so you pick whichever color you want and the active font it's going to be the color you just picked you can even apply a stroke from known to large so maybe you want to have a small medium large 
but that's up to everybody because we are gonna need a different styles another cool thing you can add a shadow with small medium art of course to make our captions pop a little bit more and this is the part i've been talking about you can set how many words you wanted to have display on the screen so maybe you want to use five or you want to use one for better attention but I honestly like to use between three to four words at the time because this gives us enough text to focus on. I would not recommend using more than five because this is a lot for somebody who's scrolling through social media. And you can even add an animation. This means this caption is going to be a little bit bouncing like this. And you can add an auto emoji which you can select out. And if this is not enough for you, you can go to edit your captions and add your emoji just like that by clicking on this little icon. Now you just scroll through this and pick whichever emoji you like and if you want to add a text hook on the beginning of your clip all you just got to do is to click here where it says generate hook title and it's going to automatically analyze your video and it's going to give you the text hook on the beginning of your video you can always change this by yourself though, whichever way you guys like so let's say maybe you don't like this text but you want to have something different but you already have that option to type in so maybe you want to type in how to close clients and i'll just delete all this because we're not going to use it and again you can position it scale it the way you guys want you want to add another text hook so just click this text and add, hit add word and now just maybe under 10 seconds boom and you have a text hook again you can pick whichever style you want just like this you created a text hook and you can set the duration in my case i set it up on two seconds so now just hit the save and now the fun part they have an ai here which helps you to create eye contact clean up the audio it can help you generate a hook zoom it can help you generate b-rolls other zoom means remove bad takes and remove silences so if you want to remove silences this video is already pre-cut but you can just click on it it's analyze your video it removes all the silences so and if you want to add a b-roll all you just got to do is to click here on the b-roll and it automatically regenerates the b-rolls so just click on the magic b-rolls and you just hit the generate boom let the sub magic do the work and it's going to generate all the b-rolls so let's actually go through the video and see what b-rolls we got so yeah maybe these b-rolls don't really match so you can just go through this and change the media and you really want to scroll through all these and see whichever b-roll is the perfect for your video or if you decide not to use any b-roll you can just delete this b-roll like that boom and another cool feature is this magic zooms so after you have added your magic zoom let me show you how this actually gonna zoom out at the beginning of our video yeah so you see this beautiful zoom and what else you can do with it you can add a sound effect so just go here and click add sound and maybe you want to add a whoosh slice robot page turn any of these sounds so you can either add a sound effect which is actually cool right now or if you don't find any sound effects useful or you can always upload your own sound effects but let's see what sub magic offer so we added this whoosh fire sound and let's see how that sounds Plans, don't buy your edits. So yeah, it always adds extra attention on the beginning of your clip. So now you are not just using a text hook, but you are already using a sound effect text hook. That means people are gonna stay longer on your video. So after you have edited your video, pick the style you guys want, added them music, text hook, and all these. All you just gotta do is here to click save and wait until it's safe and now you can hit just export and export right away straight to your computer and it's ready to post but let me guys right now show you the magic clips this is this works the best with the podcast i'm gonna paste my own video into this let's see how this works with my video it's going to show you here the eta so in my case it's 16 minutes so right now it's going to be analyzing the video and picking the best parts and after 16 minutes you're going to have your short form content ready to post including captions and if you decide not to use any editing software like CapCut, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, you can easily paste in your video in here. And they also have this trim function, function where you can go through this video and cut whichever parts you don't like. It works the same as in every other editing software. So just beat the cut and maybe you want to cut here. And now just select this part you don't like and hit delete on your keyboard and boom just like this you can start trimming in submagic right away and right now you can just hit edit captions and generate captions and it's going to generate the captions you guys like 
Yeah, here is the video I just uploaded. Let me guys show you some of these clips, what it actually does. And because this video is already edited, I'm not sure it's gonna work the way we want. But at least it can give you the idea how this tool works. So just maybe play this one. We are starting this video with one of the cleanest, most premium looking animation. The After Effects style slide up, slide down captions. Here's the legal like I said, it picked the best parts in this video, which I believe it did a great job on these. But in my case, it's not going to be working with my videos since these are already edited. But if you're cutting someone's podcast, this is the great tool since it's going to split the video into multiple short form content pieces and it's going to add the captions in just a few minutes. Or you can even generate a thumbnail with this platform. So if you want to generate a thumbnail, you just upload your future. I already tried this and it gave me this result. I would say it's almost myself. You guys can compare between these two persons. I think it's pretty close to be honest for the AI. I understand they are just starting out with these thumbnail generators, but I'm sure this is gonna be generating better thumbnails in the future, or maybe just in my case, it generated these types of thumbnails. Oh, this one's actually super funny. <laughs> maybe you work with a client and you wanna use this for your client. All you just got to do is to create a folder here and type in the client number one, boom, you create a folder and all your videos you're going to be uploading for your client number one, it's going to be staying in this folder. So everything is nice and organized. And then you can easily set the style of your captions and keep generating the same captions for your client. That way you're going to be able to deliver a lot of quantity and quality at the same time instead of spending hours in editing these videos manually. So let me know guys what you think. Would you rather edit your videos yourself or would you rather use this Submagic tool to do it for you?